required for this assembly include the pump bracket, pump impeller, a motor, seal, including seal seat, rotating piece, spring, and spring retainer, pump motor shaft, and P80. P80 is a lubricant. You can also use vegetable oil or water. This is used on the elastomer part of the seal. Apply lubricant to the seal seat elastomer. Gently place the seal seat into the bracket using the cardboard piece that's supplied with the seal. Protect the seal face and gently tap the seal seat into the bracket until it bottoms out into the seal bore. Place the stub shaft onto the motor shaft and gently place the pump bracket onto the motor, being careful not to damage the seal seat with the stub shaft. Install and tighten bracket to motor bolts. Slide the stub shaft towards the seal seat and lightly tighten one of the two stub shaft set screws. Apply lubricant to the rotating seal piece elastomer and slide the rotating seal piece onto the stub shaft. Using a socket, ensure that the rotating seal face comes into contact with the stationary seal. After installing the seal spring and spring retainer over the stub shaft and onto the seal, and placing the key into the keyway of the stub shaft, there are two methods to installing the impeller. The method you're seeing here is using an assembly tool to hold the spring tension while installing the impeller. Be sure to use Loctite 222 on the impeller lockdown bolt. When complete, remove the assembly tool. If doing a repair in the field, you can install the key, seal spring and spring retainer, and use the impeller to hold the tension of the seal spring. Just be sure to hold the impeller in place until you have the lockdown bolt installed. And always remember to use Loctite 222 on the lockdown bolt. We hope you found this video of how to install a Type 21 seal useful. If you have further questions, please visit Hot Start online at www.hotstart.com or call the number on the screen 